In Gazette Notice of 5th of September, the Kabein period was supposed to end on 16th, sorry, 15th of October. In Gazette Notice of 29th, it was extended to 24th. giving the two candidates who were appearing at that time in the Gazetico notice 48 days. Come that in, the 500 candidates had that in 11 days of campaign. Then on 24th, before I go to the 24th, my lord, this one of the team stated that Sarah Jirongo was not qualified. He was not, not qualified to run and he would not appear in a ballot paper. <coughs> it's in the public domain that the first bunch of ballot papers arrived in this country on 21st of October. As at that time, the public and the electorate had been told Cyrus Jirongo was not in the ballot. Then on 24th, my lords and my ladies, a gazette notice is issued. Putting back Cyrus Jirongo in the ballot. As at that time, the campaign period had expired. What is addressing this other, the, the later notice, my Lord, is that the ballot were already in this country and the name of Cyrus Jirongo was in the ballot. This, in our view, did not only <coughs> disadvantage that particular candidate, but also those who would have intended to vote for him. My Lord, these breaches of the law and the constitutional provisions had impact on the results of these elections.